Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And the other day, of course, we got this reveal for Farm 18 in Modern Warfare 2. This is a new map, and it was actually really interesting because Infinity Ward was actually talking about the creation of the map, what went into it. They talked about the art design. It was kind of cool seeing how they block out the map, essentially, and then they have the art team go in, and they decorate it, and they have the idea of foliage, but they don't want to add too much in there because then people hide in corners and hide behind bushes and things like that. It was a really interesting video. But there was one part of it that the community is seemingly stuck on, and it, it's just like my previous video, man. Like, I, I don't mean to be this guy that's being contrarian to the community or whatever, trying to point things out, but, like, I think people are blowing this out of proportion. So let's just go ahead and play the clip. Action will find you if you want to... Action will find you if you want to... So as you guys can see right there, lots of recoil. Oh my God, can you believe the recoil that's gonna be in Modern Warfare 2? Well, if you've ever played COD before, then you know what happened right there. The player was like very, whoever was like recording this, they were very clearly making it look like there was a lot more recoil than there actually was. The character was like moving back and forth. If you want to, you can take like a really accurate gun like the M4 and make it look like it's got a bunch of recoil even when there actually wasn't. Now, obviously there will be horizontal recoil in the game. There's gonna be vertical recoil, recoil is gonna be a big part of it, but what do we know about COD? We know that weapon levels are massive. They love weapon levels. They love having a bazillion and a half attachments in there. Uh, leaks of rumors previously, especially for Warzone, maybe not multiplayer, but for Warzone, we're suggesting that you can have up to five attachments on your gun, which is not the same amount that we've had in previous years. So they may be cutting back on the number of attachments a little bit this year. But if you think that Modern Warfare is going to have recoil like that, you're out of your mind, man. You're out of your mind. Infinity Ward is known for having low recoil. Call of Duty as a franchise is known for having relatively low recoil compared to other shooter games out there. Um, why the person in this clip right here decided they wanted to shake the controller a bit and like jiggle around while they were shooting is beyond me. I don't know why they did it, but um, to say that the recoil is going to be like this for every gun or that the game is going to be taking a fundamental you know, shift in direction and making it so recoil is massive in this year's game as compared to games like Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops, Cold War, and Vanguard. I just, I don't see it, man. I just, I, I think it's silly. I think the game is going to have recoil on par with what we're used to in the COD franchise, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, if you think about it, man, like guns in Modern Warfare 2019, they're kind of known for being really fast, and really lethal, fast time to kill and all that. But if you look at it, the recoil is not all that different, you know, in a game like Modern Warfare compared to a game like Vanguard. You know, especially once you get the attachments in there, virtually every gun can become a laser. And I imagine the same thing is going to be true in a game like Modern Warfare 2. But, you know, obviously having the variety there is fun. Who remembers? Yeah, you know, shout out to the F2000 people way back when, uh, back in Modern Warfare 2, who would use that gun just because it sucked and just because it had high recoil. And back then, you couldn't just add 50 attachments to it to make it better. You know, back then, um, it was actually exclusive ace in a video he was doing a while back. I remember hearing, I'm paraphrasing here, but he said something similar to when he went back to a game like Modern Warfare 2, he enjoyed it because every gun back then had an identity. It had a feeling, right? You you knew what the gun did, and sure, you could put a silencer on it or a red dot on it or whatever, but you really were limited in your attachment choices. You couldn't deck out your gun to become a whole different gun. The UMP was just the UMP. The MP5K was the MP5K. You didn't turn your MP5K into an assault rifle with a bazillion different attachments, right? And I'm obviously not here to say that, you know, it's bad that we have so much customization. It's bad that we have so much choice. I think both of those things are very good for the franchise. I'm just saying it was pretty cool back in the day when guns had more of an identity. You know what I mean? Because any gun nowadays in a game like Modern Warfare 2 even, you know, you're going to have a high recoil submachine gun. Right out the gate, no attachments, high recoil SMG. By the time you're done with your weapon leveling, that's going to be a low recoil SMG assault rifle hybrid if you want it to be or maybe you can increase the fire rate a whole bunch and you can make it so that SMG is even higher recoil but it's got an insanely fast time to kill if they're within like bad breath distance from you or something like that you know so um, I'm getting kind of off on a tangent right now I just want to make this video saying that uh, the recoil in Modern Warfare 2 I highly doubt it's going to be like that I mean it, it, we would have heard by now if the game was going to be like that and just such a fundamental shift in the franchise like out of nowhere like making some guns have massive recoil I don't see 
see it happening. But guys, that is it for this video here today. I apologize for this video going up later than some of my other videos. I had a bunch of you know family stuff to do earlier today, and that was also very fun. But I'm still committed to doing this video a day thing, and sometimes it's difficult. But you know, I look forward to getting the video up every single day because I know you guys enjoy it. And you know, when we have stuff to talk about, it's really fun. Sometimes we don't have stuff to talk about. It's a little bit more difficult to figure out what I should make a video on, what's worthy of conversation. But you know, browsing Reddit and things like that, I saw enough people talking about the recoil, quote unquote, in Modern Warfare 2. So I thought that would be worthy of discussion here today. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you so much for listening. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.